Guys, this is the Treeline Down Sleeping Bag from Cedar Summit. It's the most affordable down bag in their range and it's also made to be durable. Let's check it out. Hit it. Ben Prisnell is here guys with the Cedar Summit Treeline Sleeping Bag. Now it's just the tier one, there's only one in the series and it's available in both regular and long lengths with the regular being suitable for users up to 183 centimeters and the long up to 198 centimeters. The long also offers a little bit of extra width. Now these bags have got a comfort range of three degrees right through to a minus two of the lower limit and weight wise 970 grams for the regular and 1.12 kilograms for the long. Now, when you buy your tree line bag, you get it in a storage sack. This guy here, that's what you wanna store it in when you've got it at home in the cupboard and you get just a basic stuff sack to put it into. Talking about the fabrics the Cedar Summit have used in the bag here, the shell here is a 50 denier nylon, so they're not the lightest weight materials, they're made to be durable. The fill inside is a 600 plus loft gray duck down, so it's compressible, not as compressible as goose down, but it's what makes it super affordable. And the lining inside here is also a 50 denier nylon. Now while we're inside the bag here, I'll just show you the features that we've got. Uh, firstly, just a little storage pocket here. There's no zip or anything on that, just a, a little storage pocket to keep your necessities at hand. There is a draft tube here that runs down the side of the zipper. There's no neck muff on this guy here. Obviously it does have a hood and a draw cord so you can tighten the hood over the top of you. And it does have this really good anti-snag feature which works really well on the Cedar Summit bags. The zipper is just a single zipper. It's got two, a slider at each end. So the zipper runs down the side here to a box foot section. Now there's no zip around the box foot section here but it is a three dimensional foot section so you've got plenty of space for your feet. Now this zipper here is compatible with Cedar Summit's zip coupling system, which means you can zip a left-handed unisex bag to any right-handed woman's bag. And just talking about the general construction of the bag, it's what Cedar Summit refer to as a relaxed mummy shape. So it's got a bit of space around the top here and a fitted hood, and that goes down to a tapered foot section at the bottom here. So reasonably efficient, but not overly tight. The baffles is, are a box construction. So this outer layer is never sewn to the inner layer. You've got a nice even layer of warmth around your body and they're all horizontal baffles throughout the entire bag here. Now I'm gonna crawl inside the bag. I'm 185 centimeters. I wanna show you how, I, uh, how comfortably I fit inside. Now at 185 centimeters, theoretically I'm a couple of centimeters taller than the recommended height for this bag here. Now as I crawl in, you notice that these anti-snag feature works really well. None of the fabric gets caught up. And these zipper pulls go inside the bag, so it's nice and easy to do them up while I'm lying down in the bag. Let's get my hood into place. Now I'm feeling like there's plenty of room here. My feet, I've actually got tons of space. My feet are comfortable at the end. They're not pushed up against the end of the bag. I feel like I've got plenty of wiggle room. And this hood sneaks up over the top of my head and I still feel pretty comfortable. I think this would be a fairly efficient bag. Now, there should be, a, there's a draw cord just here. So I can tighten the hood up around my head. That tightens it both across here and around the top here. So I've got plenty of space. I can feed my arms by the side of the, the sleeping bag here. And I've got a bit of wiggle room inside. So I'm quite comfortable at 185. Um, so if you try to save it a bit of weight, you could probably get away with the regular if you're 185 centimeters, but any taller, I'd recommend the long. The last thing I want to show you is how to pack it away and how small it packs up. Now, when you're stuffing a down bag, don't roll it. Rolling is no good for the down fill. It kind of creates flat sheets of down. It loses its lofts. You just want to stuff it into the bag. So start with a handful at the foot section, push it right to the bottom of the bag. Once you sort of got a few handfuls in, I like to stand up and put it between my feet just to hold it in place. And just gently punch the bag down into the bottom, not forcing it, you don't want to damage anything until it's all inside the soft sack. Now that is the tree line bag from Cedar Summit packed away. That went in the bag pretty easily. I reckon if I had a compression sack, bought an optional compression sack, I'd get about another 20 or 30% out of this bag to squash it down. But just as a reference, that's how big it is against a standard Nalgene bottle. Now these tree line bags from Cedar Summit are a great budget option for first time campers or adventurers who just don't have the money to spend on the more expensive bags. It's still well made and it's gonna keep you warm. And you can grab them online at snowies.com.au. I hope that was useful. We'll see you next time.
Hey guys, if you thought that was useful, subscribe to our channel so you get all of our latest and greatest videos. If you've got any questions, let us know down below. Give us a thumbs up or check out our other Cedar Summit videos like these ones down here.